What's up YouTube, it's the Casual Air Gunner again, and today I'm revisiting the capabilities of the Daisy 880 based on the number of times you pump it. In my last video about this, I used the chronograph and showed how many FPS the pellets were going with each additional pump. This time, rather than measure the FPS, I'll measure the terminal ballistics and see what actually happens to objects that the pellets hit depending on how many times I pump the gun. As with most of my videos, I'll be testing it with these H&N Barracuda greens since they're the classic dome shape that most pellets tend to be. Weighing 6.64 grains, these definitely aren't what you'd consider heavy, but they're not as light as most Gamo PBA pellets either. First thing I'll shoot is this empty pellet tin, which is made of steel, so even though it's thin, it's a lot stronger than something like a soda can. I'll keep hitting it with more pumps until one of the pellets makes it clean through both sides of the tin. Then I'll shoot at this fence board the same way, and fence board is pretty self-explanatory. This is the kind of wood most backyard fences are made of. And of course, it wouldn't be a casual air gunner video if I didn't use some good old 10% FBI spec ballistics gel. So, for the ballistics gel, I'll test it all the way up to 10 pumps. First up is going to be the pellet tin, and it's really windy today, so sorry in advance for the wind noise. Let's start with the minimum 2 pumps, and all the shots will be fired from 15 yards. You can see at two pumps it makes a hole, but it doesn't quite get in there. Let's move it up to three pumps. At three pumps it made it in, and you can actually hear it rattling in there, but there's no deformation on the back side. So it just had enough to get through one layer of the peloton, but not uh, enough to hit the other side. Let's move it up to four. At four pumps, you can see that the pellet made it clean through both the front and the back side. I'm starting to think that maybe the three pump uh, test was affected by the fact that it hit right here, right at the edge. So I'm actually going to test it with the three pumps again and try to hit it in the center this time and see if it'll give a different result. Now that makes a little more sense. At three pumps, you'll see that it's not going to go straight through. But if you don't hit it at the edge, there will be some back face deformation on this side. Now that we know it takes four pumps to get through the pellet tin, let's see how many pumps it takes to get through the fence board. As usual, I'll be starting out with the minimum, which is two pumps. I was honestly kind of disappointed that even at 10 pumps it couldn't make it through the fence board, so now I'm going to try with the Skankel Golden Rod, 10 pumps. If this can't make it through, I don't think any pellet can. And even the Skankel Golden Rod couldn't make it through. Not even any back face deformation. I guess the Daisy A80 just isn't powerful enough to make it through fence board, which honestly isn't a bad thing for the people who are shooting it in their backyard. Now for the ballistics gel test, I'll just be sequentially shooting it from two pumps all the way up to ten.
I haven't reviewed the footage yet, but if I had to guess what happened, I'm thinking that 9 pump shot hit that 2 pump shot and sent it tumbling further into the gel where it hit the pellets from the other shots, which is why you see this curved path here. As with the chronograph tests, where I saw diminishing returns on velocity as I started getting closer to 10 pumps, it seems like the same thing happens with terminal ballistics. Those first 5 pumps give you a lot of power with each pump, but as you start getting closer to 10, it starts giving you less power with each pump. You can actually see how, after I got to 7 pumps, there really wasn't that much difference in penetration after that. So, pretty interesting results. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like it if you did, and check out my channel if arrogance are your thing, and thanks for watching.